today, the man accused in a fatal hit and run in South Burlington was back in a courtroom today for his in-person arraignment. Stephen Alonjo pled not guilty today in the death of Joseph Bird Allen, known to many in his community as Super Birdman. NBC5 Sid Buley was in court. She joins us now live with the new information we learned today. Sid. Brian Liz, right now, Alonjo is being held without bail after he entered a not guilty plea in the fatal hit and run on Shelburne Road this past weekend. In court today as well, the defendant and the prosecution got into a bit of a back and forth over whether or not this crime is a violent crime. Police say Stephen Alonjo was driving down Shelburne Road Saturday night when he hit and killed this man, Joseph Bird Allen, also known as Super Birdman by the community. He first appeared in court on Monday, but requested to enter his plea in person. Mr. Brown, I'd like to complete the denials, etc. They're not guilty. We'll uh, do that right now, Your Honor. After Alonjo pleaded not guilty to the hit and run, there was disagreement between the defense and the prosecution over whether or not the incident was a crime of violence. This is a car accident case. This is not any intentional act, maybe reckless if the court so finds in the future, but uh, there's no intent, there's no intentional violent act. Ultimately, the judge ruled that it is a crime of violence. This statute contemplates a destructive dangerous conduct that applies to the death of another human being in similar fashion. Therefore, I conclude that the, um, the um, act of violence component relying on the Combs analysis is met. Police say Alonjo fled the scene after hitting Birdman. He was later found at a motel after his yellow Mini Cooper was found in the parking lot. The front end, the hood area of the car was significantly dented. The windshield was smashed. Um, there's just no question that that Mr. Alonjo knew that he had struck someone and and left and left the scene. Alonjo had previously had 16 arrests and 11 convictions, including a previous DUI in Burlington in 2023. It's one of the reasons South Burlington's police chief says if Alonjo is found guilty, he needs rehabilitation in addition to jail time. We do have to kind of shift our mindset in to just a simple incarceration, although warranted, um, doesn't always do the trick long term. So uh, I'll leave that work to the court and Mr. Alonjo himself. Again, Alonjo is currently being held without bail. He is expected back in court next week to determine whether or not he could be released on conditions. Live in Burlington, Sid Buley, NBC5 News. Thank you, Sid. A little more than four years ago, a short documentary was made about Birdman's life. Yeah, filmmaker Matthew Parmas was a student at St. Michael's College at the time. He was assigned a project where he had to create a short film on a person of interest in the community. Parma says he had seen Birdman ride around on his decorated bikes, leaving him curious about Birdman's background. Parma says that he's grateful for the time that they spent together and for what that film ultimately represented. Just an excellent example of how Burlington can be a sort of refuge for odd characters or people who might not fit in in other places. Um, yeah, to me, he exemplified that, that sort of uh, openness. There's going to be a memorial for Birdman tonight at Radio Bean in Burlington, where he often held his birthday bashes and performed at. That begins tonight at 9 o'clock.